It's music reaction time! Ah, uh, yeah! We're back with another Denz Gonzalez hit! <laughs> oh my goodness! The first time we saw this dude, and if you haven't watched that video, you got to go see his cover of this! But my goodness, this dude is a full blown rock star with the <laughs> voice, the growl. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a shocking. Gift. What it was a gift. so shocking. <laughs> I mean, not just the voice, but the smoking, the drinking, you know, the simple environment. Everything about it was just mind blowing. Exactly. And he's gone viral with millions of views. And so when we did the reaction, even though this video is about a hundred years old, it literally came out like five years ago, which and is a hundred years really? old internet time. Wow. People are like flooding Still. to our reaction. Hundred thousand wow. views in like a couple days. <laughs> it's insane. insane. So for all you fans out there, this was the number one request. Like if you love him, you got to do a reaction to this song. It's another Steelheart wow. song. And this one's called I'll Never Let You Go. Really? Yeah. So huh. I guess this guy is going to be the next lead singer for Steelheart. Okay. We love you, Dan. <laughs> All right, man. Let's do this. Let's do it. And away we go. <laughs> he's about to... <laughs> that cigarette will be finished by the time he's done. Hey, he has his cowboy hat. <laughs> Is he now making money with this? I hope so. The thing is that the videos that he's putting up, because they're cover versions of it, oh. chances are the money, most of it is shared back to the original song creator. So he's so he's probably not making so much money with this. But I have seen that he is doing a lot more live performances and oh, okay. that's where his career is going, yes, which is fantastic. Yes. He needs the money to pay he for all the, the coffee money. and all the cigarettes he's going through for one song. It's like two packs and a bucket of coffee. One song. I'm just letting you know. It ain't cheap to make these oh videos. Oh, God. Ooh. I don't think I have song. He sounds like Ozzy Osbourne here. rock star is capable to sing while sitting. Actually, you know what? Axel Rose did that once in a concert. Really? Yeah, he had to sit the whole time because he broke his leg. So he was in a cast. So they created a giant throw and he just sat there with his leg propped up and he was singing no, the whole time. No, sitting like Den. He tried singing like that. That's a different when you're singing on a chair. Like <laughs> I know. It looks like he's not even breaking a sweat, which is what's oh, amazing. Oh, God. Oh my god. Where does this come from? He must have a portal in his throat that summons things from the devil's world. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm willing so... to bet all his neighbors go to church <laughs> because the minute they hear this, they're like, oh my God, what is this? The <laughs> devil is coming for me. It's like, what? what's going on? Ooh. Oh. Funny. I've never heard this song before. Mm. I already want to go download it. I, like, I love it already, the way he does it. Oh, 
God. You hear the beep, the sound, the beep, ba boom, ba boom. That is the neighbors knocking on the door, going like, <laughs> what the hell are you doing, dude? Every day. No, I don't think so. I bet you they're all standing outside listening and appreciating. You know him. what? Maybe the first time, but not the 800th time. And no. I'm willing to bet he's saying this song about 800 times. <laughs> I like that. Here he is deep, round voice. Yeah. He's actually a good singer, not just a good screamer. Yeah. Bow down to you, Dan. <laughs> I would love to see you in person, you know, singing you live. Oh, that'd yeah. Be, that'd be I great. would love to see you sing live, but I'll make sure to be earplugs, one, and two, I'm going to sit way in the back because I value being able to hear after your concert. <laughs> Just don't sit next to the speaker. He's oh straining to see this one. He is. Whoa! Wow! Well, the devil broke through that time. The devil finally crossed over, baby. After oh all these God. centuries, <laughs> it came through the body. I think this you. is one of his favorite songs. I'm telling you, <laughs> really? I think this is one of his favorite songs. Yeah, really? because what I have noticed is that, and I've listened to one or two of his other songs, certain songs where his English isn't that great. He's getting the words wrong. But in this song, every word is correct. Like you would not think that this was someone else who is not American, who was not born in this country right. singing it. Like if I didn't right. see him and I just heard it, I would think, boom, he speaks English. Wow. So that tells me he's practiced this particular song a lot. Wow. Woo! Sweet Jesus. Ah, I wish Dan could have like a tour so he can make more money. Like he is really good. Very nice voice. Oh my god. Well, because of him not being able to like speak and communicate in English, probably that hinders a little bit of... Uh, well, you want him to come tour in the US? Or something he somewhere. Need to. Or somewhere, The internet right? makes uh, everyone international star. He can literally do that in his own country. For all you know, sure, he already does that in his own country. He doesn't make money. He doesn't make money on videos. He can tour and do tours in his own country. of mercy oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow that was the first time he said i know he's expressed so emotion because normally he's just like yeah whatever i got this he's telling us that that was just a difficult song everybody that was okay. a difficult song 
Because okay. by halfway through, <laughs> at about the two minute mark, it was non stop yelling. Screaming. It was screaming. Another crazy cover. Oh my goodness. I cannot even explain how good this song is. I don't even know the song, but man, he's like right out somewhere. He's that good. I don't even know who Steelheart is, but I'm going to go check out this band now because they have two songs that are just phenomenal, really great songs. And the way he sang this song, unlike the last Steelheart song, felt like it was much more Axl Rose influence. This one here in the beginning part sounded much more Ozzy Osbourne. Sounds like Steelheart is a rock band from that mix of Ozzy and Axl era. So I'm really curious to dig further in to see what else they got. I don't know why they filmed this into black and white, but I would love to see his face here. You know, the whole package of Dan. Oh, I love this grainy fit. Like, like old school. Yeah, huh? the old school. My sense is they did this because... It was just not a good quality camera, mm -hmm. which is really unusual because the audio quality is pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. So if the video quality is that bad and the audio is good, maybe they recorded it two separate things. So that tells me this is almost deliberately done. It was like, let's make it black and white. The film grain that you see like that is a filter. It doesn't just come like that. Yes, like yes. no phone films that way. Unless he suddenly broke out an old ass camera to film, which I don't think he did. So this was just a clever way to kind of mask the fact that this is a low-res video. I mean, this video came out in 2014 again. So back then, this was about as good of a quality you're going to get from your phone. Right, right. Oh, God. It's so awesome. Oh, 